You can have a beautiful landscape while raising healthy pets and children by incorporating a few of these tips. Mulch bare soil to improve plant health and reduce maintenance. Avoid cocoa bean mulch if you have dogs, as chocolate can be deadly. Avoid wood mulch with sticks that can get lodged in your pet's mouth. Manage brown spots in the lawn caused by dog urine. Water these areas thoroughly to wash the urine through the soil. Overseed dead spots to speed recovery. Reduce the problem by creating a mulched bed for this purpose. Pea gravel cleans easily and a few strategically placed shrubs can preserve the beauty of your landscape. Keep cats from using your garden as their litter box. Use chunk or prickly mulch to discourage digging. Or add an out of the way patch of sand. A designated digging zone may reduce digging in the garden. Avoid pesticides whenever possible. Select organic and natural products that are gentler on the environment and always read and follow label directions even when using organic pesticides. Fertilize with Melorganite. This organic nitrogen fertilizer is good for your plants and safe for kids, pets, and the environment. And don't worry if you have one of those dogs that eats anything. Melorganite is non-toxic. But as with any non-food item, it's best to store your Melorganite in secure containers or sheds out of the reach of your pets and children. Select plants suited to your growing conditions and safe for pets and children. The American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals website has lists of toxic plants to avoid. Contact your local extension service or children's hospital for a list of kid-friendly plants. And try decorative fencing to separate gardens from play areas. The visual cue will help keep children in stray balls out of the garden. They may even help when training dogs to stay on the grass and out of planting beds. Try a variety of techniques matched to your pets and children's personalities when developing a safe and attractive landscape. Oh.